No, parece que no. Yeah, okay. So today we are going to talk about every everyday life technology. Okay, everyday life technology. Everyday life technology. Okay, so what do you think about the title of this session, of this class, of today's class? What do you think about it? ¿Qué creen es lo que vamos a hablar? En inglés. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, <laughs> eh, no sé. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice cotidianidad, podría ser. Tiene que ver con la cotidianidad. Ok, with everyday life. Ya, yeah? that's how we say it. Así, así ah, como se dice, yes. everyday life. Um, ok, yes, we are going to talk about the things that we use every day, ok? Sobre la tecnología en nuestro día a día. Excellent. That's it. Ok, so today we are going to talk about what we use every day. What type of technology we use every day. Ok, so... Yeah. As always, the rule that this will not apply for you since we are so little. So these are the rules that I use mostly in all my classes. Estas son las reglas que yo uso por lo general en todas mis clases. Pero, eh, for example, I won't eh, mute all the microphones. No voy a mutear los micrófonos, así que pueden hablar cuando les estimen conveniente. Eh, lo que sí es usar el, su nombre como nombre de usuario y escribir su nombre en el chat, ¿ya? Esas son como las dos reglas más importantes. And if you have any doubts, please ask it on the chat or you can ask me orally, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna duda, me preguntan por el chat o de manera oral, activan el micrófono y me preguntan, ¿ya? No hay problema con eso. <coughs> ok, so today's objective, uh, the learning objecti objective will be to recognize vocabulary related to everyday technology. Ok, so we are going to continue working with uh, vocabulary. Vamos a seguir viendo un poquito más de vocabulario. So, first of all, we are, we are going to watch a video. Ok, uh, this video is really, really short. It lasts like two minutes. And so you can pay attention. Ya, yeah, hasta aquí. ¿Han entendido las cosas que le he dicho? ¿Me siguen? ¿O están muy perdidos? Sí. No. Ya, yeah, hagan. Excellent. Ok, so... This one. We are going to share the screen. This one. Okay, so here we have the video. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Excellent. So, and the volume is okay? I think technology in general. Can you listen to the video? Yes. Yes, okay. Excellent. So let's begin. So please pay attention to the video. They are going to talk about technology, okay? I think technology in general has been worked into everyone's day-to-day -day life. It is the first thing I do when I wake up and when I go to bed. It's easy to just pick up your phone, turn it on. Call a ride and just go wherever you want. New places to eat, new places to explore. It's great to stay in touch. I met my girlfriend on online dating apps, so I'd say that's a positive right there. Do you feel like you're in control of technology or is technology in control of you? Oof. Oh, it's definitely more control on me. My biggest issue with it is knowing when to stop. Five and ten minutes here and there, I feel like it takes up, you know, takes up a bunch of my day. I feel like it's in control of me, like my phone's dead for like half the day or something and I'm going crazy. I think my math grade is the way it is because of my phone. Now I notice my eyes are like a little, like I blink a little bit more, they get tired. He should yeah. just throw his phone away. <laughs> Usually, I feel in control of technology. Usually. Usually, I can catch myself and be like, you need to chill out. I think you have to set a limit and say that you control the phone, it doesn't control you. I'd say most people hate on technology, but if you're using it for good things, I think it's really helpful. Well, we think it's important that they do have access to it and learn it. Technology is, is 
not so much it's a necessary evil, it's a necessary good that could go either way. You know, the jury's out. It's up to us as to what we do with the technology. Okay, so did you like the video? Do you want it to watch it again? ¿Lo quieren ver de nuevo? Yo entendí. Yes? Así. And the rest? Do you want to watch the video again? <laughs> okay. So, and that was a video made by Google. Okay, Google create that video in order to explain the use and the role of <clears throat> technology in our daily life, okay? So I have a few questions for you. So do you agree with what is said in the video? Do you agree with what is it said in the video? That's yes. the first question. Yes, why? Because... Um... <laughs> No me, profe, no, no me sé desenvolver en inglés. ¿Puedo decirlo en español? Puedes decirlo en Spanglish si quieres. Mm. Entonces no sé. <laughs> ok, say it in Spanish. Ok. Eh, creo que tiene mucha razón con que a veces la tecnología nos controla. O okay. que uno se sienta así. Ok, so... Y que... No, continue, continue, sorry. Y que ocupa gran parte de nuestro día. Eh, creo que eso es lo que rescato más que nada del video, que es que le encuentro mucha razón a lo que, de lo que comentaban o hablaban. Ok, so you agree with the people. ¿Estás de acuerdo con la yes. gente? You agree. I'm agree with the people. Yeah. You say, I agree, ok? I agree. Excellent, excellent. I agree with the video, with the people, with everything that they say. Okay, excellent. And okay. in the chat, what can you say about it? Do you agree with the video or you disagree with the video? With the video. I still agree in the chat. Agree? Okay, excellent. So yes, the video, <clears throat> Um, talks about something really, really important related to uh, the use that we gave to technology. Because every time that we wake up, we grab our phones. If we are, I don't know, if we are eating, we are on the cell phone watching a series. Or, I don't know, if we go to the beach, we always have to have our cell phones in order to take pictures. So okay. we are really, really involved with technology. Right. O lo mismo que decía también como esa persona que conoció a su pareja por una aplicación de, de citas. Yes, you can meet people through technology. Puedes conocer gente. You can meet people. <coughs> yes, and we, ha, we can find apps for everything. Podemos encontrar aplicaciones para lo que sea. For cooking, for dating, for playing, and for buying. Por ejemplo, podemos comprar en China con Aliexpress, Witch, no sé, Amazon, eBay. Entonces, <clears throat> we can watch movies through the technology. We have cell phones, tablets, uh, smart TVs. We have projectors. We have everything. So technology has gave us everything. And I want, I have one question for you. So what is technology for you? What's technology for you? What's technology for you? <clears throat> Entretención. Okay, entertainment. What else? What else? ¿Qué más es tecnología para ustedes, chicos? En el chat. What else is technology? For example, if I show you this, yes, this scissor. Is this a technological device? Es un objeto tecnológico? Las tijeras. Creo que sí. Yes? No? Yes. Yes? 
Yes, okay. maybe. Uh, maybe. Things that make everything easier, yes. Yes, it is a technological device. For instance, for the Mayas, for the ancient cultures, a, a mirror, un espejo, was a technological device because they didn't have one. Ellos no tenían uno, entonces, al ver el reflejo, pensaban que era un objeto tecnológico. Todo objeto tecnológico depende en la época en la que esté. Y como dice Joel, eh, technological devices help us to make our life easier. Okay? Nos ayuda a, tener nuestra, a que nuestra vida sea más fácil. So, excellent, guys. So now let's go to the second question. And this was a question that I took from the video. Esta es una pregunta que la saqué directamente del video. So, do you feel you are in control of technology or is technology in control of you? I feel controlled by technology. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, me too. Me too. Yes, I agree with you, guys. Yes. Yes, because as I said before, we always, uh, we are always near technology. So, have you tried to not be connected with your phone for one day? ¿Han intentado estar sin teléfono por un día? No digo que no usen el computador sin su teléfono solamente. Without your phone. Have you tried? No, no completamente. No? It's difficult. <laughs> yes. yes, it's horrible. Yes, it's it's hard. Even if you have, if you even if you are one hour without a cell phone or or anything, you start like panicking because you are not connected to the world. Okay, porque lo que pasa es que uno se empieza a sentir como angustiado, como que entra en pánico, así como y si me, alguien me llamó y si me mandaron un mensaje y si no me llegó la notificación. So we are sí. Most of the time we are uh, in, we, we, we feel in control that we feel like technology is controlling us, okay? So the important thing about this is that we can uh, acknowledge this, podemos reconocer esto, and we can make uh, our life different. We can make some changes in our life. So we can start like using less the phone, so, we use less, we text less uh, to our friends in order to keep a, a healthy technological life, okay? So, uh, well, most of you said that you felt, in, uh, you felt like technology controls you, okay? Easy, perdón, Isa, lo siento. Es que igual ahora es complicado intentar hacer eso porque estamos encerrados y no podemos hacer una vida yes. fuera de la tecnología. Of course, and uh, quarantine uh, makes everything harder, okay? I agree with you. Eh, la, la cuarentena está haciendo todo peor, así que la tecnología es nuestro único amigo. En estos tiempos, la tecnología es nuestro único amigo. Okay, so, excellent. I really appreciate your participation, guys. Um, so, let's continue. So, since we are going to... Um, let me go back. Since we are going to talk about everyday technology and we have covered almost the concept of technology and uh, what do you think about it if we are in control? So before we continue, I want you to tell me if you can write a list, si es que pueden escribir una lista of the objects, the, technologi the technological objects that you use in one day of your life, like from the morning to the to the noon. Todos los objetos tecnológicos que ustedes creen que usan en desde que se levantan hasta que se acuestan. Okay, the phone. What else? Computer. Excellent. TV. The TV, tablet, okay. Console, okay, that's a good one. Hello, Daniel. Dígame nomás, Daniel. Eh, puede activar su micrófono si quiere. Es inglés, inglés tecnológico. 
Okay, internet, excellent. What else? Okay, so I try to uh, minding the topic of the class, teniendo en cuenta el tema de la clase. I ah, estamos hablando de la tecnología en el día a día, ¿ya? Okay, um, so I try to group four, no, five uh, main areas of our daily life that we use technology, okay? Traté de agrupar la, los grupos eh, para que se hiciera un poquito más cómodo visualmente. So I choose five topics. So related to food, hygiene, communication, ent entertainment, and transportation, okay? So, any one of you mention microwaves, ovens, water boiler, or electric oven. Nadie me mencionó el uso de microondas, hornos, hervidores. Iba a decir, pero no estaba segura de eso. <laughs> yes, those are technological devices that we use. So, that's part of technology, too. Okay. <laughs> And related to hygiene, we have electric showers. And by electric showers, I mean the ones who heat the water with electricity, okay? Uh, electric, uh, electric toothbrush, a uh, hair dryer, hair straightener, okay? El alisador de pelo, el secador. And for communication purposes, we use cell phones and phones, and maybe we can say computers, okay? Uh, also for entertainment, We have smart TVs, tablets, consoles, Blu-ray, even computers. And also we have uh, for transportation, and this was something that we, you talked about with a uh, professor, uh, with uh, teacher Soraya. You talk about electric cars, I think. Yes. Yes. Uh, so for transportation, not nowadays, no hoy en día, no, no, no lo estamos usando tan, tanto la, los medios de transporte, por eso lo dejé al último. But we use electric cars, eh, gasoline cars, eh, buses, subways, eh, motorbikes, everything. So, from here, now, I want you to tell me how many of these one do you use daily, in a daily basis? How many of these do you use in a daily basis? I think... Four only. Four? Which one? Um, phones. Okay. Um, smart TV. Okay. Um, microwave. Okay. Um, that's it, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I use the same. Um, I use my phone, the computer. I don't have a smart TV. Believe it or okay. not, I don't have one. Uh, I have like a regular LED TV. And computer too. Yes, I use computer, compu uh, computer, cell phone, and microwave, and the water boiler. So I can drink some tea or coffee. But mm -hmm. that's it. So, and the rest of the class, what do you use according to the list? How many of them do you use? ¿Cuántos usan? de los que les presenté aquí en, en Let's Like. How many of them? So Marco Álvarez dice, I don't use microwaves, okay? And the rest? How many of them do you use? ¿Cuánto utilizan tengo los una, que están acá? Tengo una duda. Pregunta. Si uno tuviera un califón eléctrico, ¿sería un...? Un aparato tecnológico. Yeah, we could consider an el uh, an technological device. Yes, of course. Mm. Yeah, because I have like the old ones, the ones with that you have to like. Me too, but. Yeah, you can <laughs> consider like the the new automatic uh, telephone. Yes. The rest is sleeping. 
are you sleeping or are you here? <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, Joel, tell me how many of these do you use? <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. Yeah, you can write. Pueden escribirlo en el chat. I don't mind. Okay. Pueden escribirlo en el chat. How many of these one do you use in your daily basis? Yo casi uso los mismos que la hice. Okay. Which one do you don't understand? ¿Cuál no entiendes, eh, Daniel? Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Que había mucho ruido y no entendí un par de cosas. Okay. So, in order so you can understand the meaning of some of them, casi todos los de la cuarta opción. So, <laughs> smart TV, tablets, consoles, Blu-ray, computers. Okay, excellent. So, uh, in order to avoid confusion, so we have uh, microondas, microwaves, oven, cocina, water boiler, hervidor, electric oven, horno eléctrico, electric shower, uh, ducha eléctrica, electric, electric tooth, uh, toothbrush, um, cepillo eléctrico, hair dryer, secador de pelo, hair straightener, uh, alisadora. And we have one, yes, the freezer. The yes. refrigerator. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. <laughs> so there we have one. Another one. The mic. Uh, the the freezer. Excellent. Nice, uh, Daniel. The other ones are pretty obvious. Okay. So the one is subway, el metro, buses, el bus. Okay. And consoles son las consolas de videojuegos: PlayStation, uh, Xbox, uh, Nintendo Switch. If you have any of those, two. Okay, so this was mainly the vocabulary that I wanted to to cover with you. So technology, technology related to food, hygiene, communication, entertainment, and transportation. Okay, and <laughs> okay, so everybody has been there, Daniel. Todo hemos pasado por eso. Y créeme que ahora los teléfonos son casi como una consola. Cuando yo era chico solo teníamos los Nokia que eran así, que eran así de anchos, así de anchos. Y que no se rompían por el nada del mundo. Y que no se rompían con nada. Y tenían dos juegos, uno de naves y el Snake. Y con eso vivíamos y éramos felices. <risa> yes, yes. I didn't have that one. Yo no tenía el, el con Tetris. Actually, I can show you the one that I had. Uh, let me see. So I can make it quick. This one, uh, some, some Google. So it was the Nokia 35 or something. Nokia. No, it wasn't that one. This will be like a short. Yeah, this one. Yes, yes, yes. Here, I found it. Lo encontré. This will be like a short parenthesis of the glass. This one. I had this one. This cell phone. This was my first cell phone that I had. Ese fue el primer teléfono que tuve. El Nokia 3310. It's a fun fact. I don't know if you mind. <laughs> but that was the, the first one. Uh, okay, so we are going to continue with the presentation. Sorry for the, the interruption. Okay, so in order to continue, we are going to uh, do a Mentimeter, okay? So if you can join, that's the code, uh, 27, 34, 53, 27, 34, 53. So I want you to tell me something, okay? I want you to give me an opinion of the class and the topic that you would like to 
to see or if you are interested in something that I can brought to classes, okay? Lo bueno eh, era la música y no sé si cuando llamaba. <risa> claro, rompía el piso cuando se caía. <risa> okay. So, I am going to share the screen of the Mentimeter. So, there we have. Okay, so here you have the the Menti. You can join by writing the code. So you go to menti.com and use the code 27-34-53, okay? Y con esto ya estaríamos terminando la clase. So after we do the menti, we are done for today. Okay, si se pueden unir al menti. Ya lo hice. Yes. Pero, ¿qué, ¿qué hay que hacer realmente? No lo entiendo. ¿En el menti? Yes. Ok, so, first of all, we have three questions, ok? The first one, you have to rate the class. Vamos a evaluar la clase. So, you can select from zero to seven the, the class. La pueden eh, evaluar desde cero a siete, o desde uno a siete, si no me equivoco. And the first one is, did you like the class? Si es que le gustó la clase. Sé que era una clase de introducción, igual para que nos conozcamos. But anyways, did you like the class? Si es que le gustó la clase. Was the class interesting? Si es que la, les pareció interesante. And if you felt comfortable, okay? Si se sintieron cómodos con la clase. So you can join and answer the questions, okay? Ready. Excellent, thank you. So we have two. I need six more. Necesito seis más. Did you like the class? Was the class interesting? Ahí le van saliendo como el porcentaje de voto. Yes. Me sale el porcentaje más no las personas que lo votaron, ¿ya? Así que tranquilo, si esa es la idea, que sea anónimo. Yes, yeah, so we have three answers. Entonces hasta ahora sé que me ha respondido Joel, Rocío, Anne y Isadora. <gasps> No sé por qué lo han puesto en el chat, porque van tres personas y los otros dos me confirmaron, ya. No sé qué nota han puesto, pero sí sé que ustedes respondieron. Ok, ok. Ok, so, most of you have been, like, really, really interested in the class, ok? So, thank you. I appreciate that. Guys, if you have anything, anything that you want to say to me, please say it, ok? Cualquier cosa que me quieran decir, sugerencia problema que tuvieron, me lo dicen y punto, ¿ya? Para que así yo lo considere cuando usted, cuando haga otra clase. Eh... Ahí está la, la página. Espérame. Profe. Dime. ¿Tiene serie favorita? ¿Serie favorita? Eh... Mira, voy a decir una en inglés solo porque estamos en la asignatura, eh, pero Mira. Grey's Anatomy. Hello, eh, y Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Son las dos series que ah, más me gustan. Uh, Friends también lo veo, pero es porque le tengo cariño especial. Pero no es mi serie favorita. ¿La segunda de qué trata? Brooklyn Nine-Nine es un distrito... Un... Aquí en Chile son comisarías. Una comisaría de, de policías de New York, pero es chistosa. Eh, es muy buena uh -huh. la serie. Si la puedes ver, es muy chistosa. El código es 27-54-53. Yes, that's my favorite uh, series. Uh, and animated series, uh, I think Chingeki, if you watch anime. No, I don't see anime. Yes, but yes, I have both uh, type of favorite series. But for me, uh, Grey's Anatomy, it's amazing. I really like that, that series. Yes. It's emotional. <laughs> Prof. Otaku? No. I shower. I take a shower, so I am not Otaku. <laughs> okay. I want to run media. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Uh, let me... Yes, there we have. So this one, the second question. So the second question was related to... <clears throat> uh, 
what topic are you interested in? ¿Ok? Así que de nuevo se tienen que meter al menti y responder. ¿Qué tema le interesaría? ¿Ya? Aquí son de libre disposición. Ustedes pueden escoger tres temas. Ya yo les di la opción para escoger tres temas. Entonces la idea es que me digan alguna sugerencia que les gustaría tener, eh, algo que les gustaría hablar, obviamente relacionado con, con tecnología o, o en algún ámbito que les gustaría aprender algo. Ya para también considerarlo, porque así no les enseño algo que no les va a interesar o no les va a servir para nada. ¿Pero usted no tiene que seguir una pauta, profe? Obviamente, pero uno puede puede organizar esas pautas para crear otros contenidos. Ya, siempre están esas opciones, ya de poder ir variando, por ejemplo, los temas, más no el, entre comillas, el, lo, la gramática o, o eso. Pero, por ejemplo, si tenemos que hablar de un tema, puedo elegir un tema que me den ustedes y yo lo modifico para incluirlo en la clase. Modismos. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Sí, Rocío. Yes, I can teach you like how to have conversations and I don't know some some new words that you can use that can be useful for you. Yes. Video games. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, nature, technology, video games, movies, music. Okay. I am going to look it up. Maybe next class we are going to cover some topics related to movies or music. Yeah, I really lo like those topics. So we can talk about technology regarding music, for instance or the technology behind the movies, because we have like many uh, things that we use while we record a movie, okay? Uh, but thank you. So, okay, we are going to leave it um, up to here. Lo vamos a dejar hasta acá. So, that was the class for today. Guys, uh, I really appreciate your participation. I really like the, the, the group, okay? And I hope you, you find interesting everything and I hope to see you next week, okay? So take care, have a nice weekend because I won't see you until next week. And that's it, so you can leave now. You right. can leave now. Creo que, creo que el viernes tenemos clase, ah no. No, pero otro día de la semana tenemos clases, parece. Yes. El jueves, creo. creo ah, que pero sí. el jueves, no, el, ay, según lo que yo tengo anotado, el jueves es que no me estoy el, equivocando. El, el inglés humanista. Yes, no. ¿Estás segura que veíamos a la profe dos veces a la semana? Yeah, maybe. <risa> Quizá me estoy equivocando. Eh, si es que es el mismo de inglés, eh, claro, va a ser... La otra, creo que la otra profesora va a ser el, el, el otro inglés, porque lo separamos en humanista científico y como por temas de tiempo no podemos estar los dos, o sea, no puedo estar en los dos, eh, eso. Pero ahí cualquier cosa se lo voy a confirmar, yo chiquillo. Eh, aquí inglés podríamos hacer... No, sí, creo que me equivoqué. Adivinanza, ya. Les voy a empezar a traer adivinanza igual, porque vi que Soraya le incluía unos riddles before the class. Ya, así que los vamos a traer también. <coughs> ah, eso. Eh, cualquier cosa relacionada con el horario, sigan teniendo las mismas clases. Quizás no conmigo, eh, o no voy a ser yo el profe, pero sí van a... Lo, los horarios siguen igual, ya. Así que no tengan problemas. Y eso, ya chicos, así que vamos a dejar hasta acá. No sé si alguien antes de irse tiene alguna duda, consulta, sugerencia que me quieran hacer a mí antes de que terminemos. Si no, pues están libres de irse a descansar por hoy día. ¿Profe? Dime. Eh, en lo que sería comienzo de las clases, ¿pasaron algo o si le, pasaron algo nuevo o si simplemente repasaron? 
No, no, no pasamos nada nuevo. Eh, vimos un video, eh, pucha, yo estuve conversando con los chiquillos presentándome, pero no hubo materia nueva. Ya, así que, eh, por lo mismo, esta clase iba a ser más que nada una, una pseudo introducción, eh, más mía que de ustedes al, para, para presentarme, pero fue solo los contenidos de vocabulario que vimos hoy día los que es nuevo, entre comillas. ¿Ya? Ok, perfecto. Eso. Ya chicos, que estén muy bien, muchas gracias por todo y nos vemos la próxima clase.